Today, we're going to look at how a CVT transmission achieves forward and reverse gears. First, here we have a sun gear, a ring gear, and a planet carrier. There's also a set of clutches, and right here, a set of brakes. When the clutch engages, it transmits power to this sun gear. The brake, on the other hand, acts on the planet carrier. By holding the planet carrier stationary, reverse gear is achieved. Also, this ring gear is rigidly connected to the input shaft. Now let's simulate. In park, P or neutral, N, since the ring gear is directly connected to the input shaft, when the engine is running, the ring gear just free wheels. When we shift into forward, drive, the forward clutch engages, connecting the sun gear to the input shaft. This causes the sun gear and the ring gear to rotate together, creating forward drive. Now look at the differential. As the engine speed increases, the differential rotates clockwise. This is forward motion. When we release the forward clutch and return to neutral, the ring gear is again free to spin. To engage reverse, we apply hydraulic pressure to the brake. This holds the planet carrier stationary. Now, if we rotate the ring gear again, watch the differential. It now rotates in the opposite direction, reverse gear. Release the brake and engage the forward clutch again. The differential turns clockwise once more, forward. That's how forward and reverse are achieved in this CVT. Got it? Like and subscribe for more.